This is Miss Lee, and today we're going to talk about writing inequalities to represent situations, specifically writing one-step inequalities. Okay, representing real-world situations with inequalities is very similar to that of equations. These are the steps. Same step as the equ equation, first you want to define the variable. What is the unknown? Assign a variable if you're not already given one. Step two, you want to write the inequality. Translate the situation into small expressions and combine them to form an inequality statement. Look for the inequality language. At most, at least, no more than, less than, etc. Basically, you're looking for the maximum or the minimum amounts. And then the last thing you do is you solve your inequality and you graph. So let's go ahead and try one. You are at the mall and you can spend at most $40. You have already spent $7 on lunch. How much more money, M, can you spend at the mall? Okay, so first we want to define the variable. What is it that we're looking for? We're looking for how much money you can spend at the mall and we are already given the variable m. So we're gonna say let m equal the money you can spend. Now to write our inequality, you need to look for those clue words. And it says that you can spend at most $40. That's your clue word. Okay, the most you can spend is $40, so you need to ask yourself, is the 40 the maximum amount or is it the minimum amount? and it is the maximum because it says at most. So nothing can be larger than the 40. So my inequality is gonna have the alligator's mouth open towards the 40. Now can you spend exactly 40? Sure, so we need that equal line. And now we need to figure out the expression that's gonna come over here. So we know that we can spend at most $40. We have already spent $7, and we wanna know how much more money we can spend. So how much more is there gonna be our clue word for addition? So we're gonna take M plus seven, and that should be less than or equal to 40. Now you could switch it, do the commutative property, and have seven plus M, that's the same thing, is less than or equal to 40. And then you would solve the inequality and graph your solutions on a number line. Let's try another example. Kevin is playing a game at the state fair. For each ball he can toss into a jar, he gets negative two points. To win a stuffed animal, he must earn a score of negative 24 or less. How many times does he have to toss a ball B into a jar? Okay, so what is the unknown? The unknown is how many times the ball needs to be tossed into a jar. And we're actually given the variable B. So let's define it. We're gonna let B equal the number of balls in a jar. And now we're ready to write our inequality statement. So go back through and look for those inequality clue words. Okay, Kevin is playing a game at the state fair. For each ball he can toss, he gets negative two points. To win a stuffed animal, he must earn a score of negative 24 or less. Negative 24 or less. Okay, that's our clue word for our inequality. So we have negative 24. Now is negative 24 the maximum number of points or the minimum? Well, it says he must earn a score of negative 24 or less. So anything he earns has to be less than the negative 24. So negative 24 is the maximum amount. Can it be equal to negative 24? Yes, because it says negative 24 or less. So draw our equal line. And now we just need to figure out our expression that goes on the left side. So for each ball, he gets negative two points. Each, for each, each means what operation? It means to multiply. So we're gonna multiply negative two times the number of balls. So our variable is B. So negative two B is less than or equal to negative 24. This is our inequality statement and then you would go ahead and solve it. And remember, because we're dividing by a negative to both sides, you would have to switch the inequality. 
Okay, let's go ahead and do a couple of practice problems. You're going to solve these on your own. You'll pause the video. When you've come up with your answer, you've written your inequality statement, come back and check to see if you are correct. So our first problem. It costs $660 to put on the school play. How many tickets T must be sold at $6 a piece in order to make a profit? One of the things I want to talk about is this word profit. Okay, profit means to make money after paying all of your expenses. Okay, you don't want to have to owe money. It's to make money after you pay all of your expenses. That's what a profit is. Okay, go ahead and pause it. Determine which is the correct inequality statement. And then come back and check. Okay, let's see how you how you did. Did you choose B? Six times 110 is greater than or equal to T. Okay, one more. Practice problem number two. Abby is hosting a party at a place that can hold up to 125 people. 78 people have said that they are coming. How many more people, P, could Abby invite? Go ahead and pause your video. Choose your inequality statement and come back and check. Okay, did you say A, 78 plus P is less than or equal to 125? Nice job. 